is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we are back with a brand new aew action figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive aew unmatched brody lee and negative one two pack now this is a ringside exclusive so if you guys want to pick this set up you are going to have to do so over at ringside collectibles the first pre-orders are shipping out now and this thing is sold out a bunch of times on ringside collectibles the first shipments or the first orders pre-order number one went out immediately man they they were they were gone in under 10 minutes i want to say as soon as they were posted so this thing is on like back order until October. So if you guys want to put your order in, you didn't get it in in time, man, go over there, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Get your order in because when this set is gone, it's going to be gone. And the aftermarket prices for this are probably going to be outrageous. And rightfully so, right? I mean, this set is beautiful. It is a beautiful commemoration of Brody Lee and his life and his wrestling career. And it's just beautifully done here by AEW and Jazzwares wrapped up into one. Of course, rest in peace to Brody Lee. What an amazing talent and what an incredible two-pack we have to commemorate that with his son here something we've never really seen before in action figures man I, I can't think of anything off the top of my dome to to replicate this you know this is just a one-of-a-kind piece and i'm so excited to, to review it here for you guys today and we're going to do it justice man so as you guys can see here it's a beautiful box set you guys can see Brody lee and negative one here you get in memory of Brody lee down here you get the dark order logo mixed in 1979 to 2020 aew logo you got the unmatched logo here ringside exclusive over here on the top of the packaging you do have in memory of Brody lee right there on the right side, you have AEW and MASH, a beautiful image of Brody Lee and negative one, and then you have a memory of Brody Lee over there. And then on this side, you get some accessories with the interchangeable hands. You have the TNT Championship, and then the memory of Brody Lee down here. And then on the back of the packaging, we do have the entire AEW roster, a shot of them on the stage on the Brody Lee tribute show here with an AEW and Unmatched collection up here in the top left corner, and that's just a beautiful style packaging, man. They, they did a fantastic job on this. A huge shout out to Jazzwares and everybody over there, man. I love this two-pack. Again, a beautiful shot of Brody Lee and negative one here in the front. This is truly special, man. This year with Dominic Mysterio's kid figure, and then we have negative one, man. We can truly do some insane things in our entire wrestling figure collections, but with all those things being said, man, let's dive into this two-pack and find out what it's all about and crack these guys out of their packaging. So here's Brody Lee and Negative One out of their packaging, and I gotta say, man, this two-pack just keeps getting better and better for me, man. I really enjoy these figures. I know one of them is technically just a re-release, right? It's like the exact same figure except for an accessory, and then you get an amazing one-of-a-kind figure that I don't know if we'll ever see this again, you know? I don't know if they're gonna re-release this figure. I could see this just being a one-off, you know? Like, until he's a little bit older, I don't see them doing something like this again. I don't think we're gonna get a Negative One or a Brody Lee Jr. in the regular line at this size, you know? It's one of those special deals. It's one of those ringside exclusive deals. Maybe a store exclusive one day. Maybe, you know, if Toys R Us came back around or something like that, man. But this is uh, one of those things that you got to get your hands on. You're paying for this thing, and then you get the beautiful packaging with it. So this is one of those things that you want to go grab, man. So go over there. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. You do not want to miss out on this thing because once it's gone, it's gone, man. You want to get that order in and just... Uh, it's one of those things that you just want to have in the collection, man. I'm telling you, if you're an AEW fan or a Brody Lee fan or any of that, man, you're going to want to grab this set. But anyways, man, what we're going to do is take a closer look at their accessories first, and then we're going to dive into Brody Lee and Brody Lee Jr. All right, man, so diving into the accessories for this beautiful two-pack, we got some bones to pick, man. I think everybody knows exactly where I'm going with this. If you look at the two-pack that we're getting right, of course, you get the beautiful Brody Lee figure. You get the beautiful negative one figure. And this is a straight-up re-release of the Brody Lee from Unmatched Series number three. However, I think they really could have spiced up this two-pack if they would have made this cloth and i'm talking to jeremy man i gotta be honest with you back in may 2021 i think it was at fan fest or something they had this exact jacket on display at a fan fest and they had a back shot of it and i tweeted jeremy and i said i don't know how you can do it but we need this jacket in all caps in cloth for our AEW figure collections, please, in all caps, pleading hands emoji, fire emoji, crying emoji. He went on to reply to me and said, agree. And look where we are, Brad. Look where we are. And you guys already know, I gotta plug the Major Wrestling Figure podcast clip. Like, oh my god, that goddamn fucking old school Mattel stuck in that pose jacket gonna... it's the rubber jacket it is a rubber jacket now i will say i like the color of it 
it's not like a complete white. It's got a real cream color kind of going to it, which isn't completely accurate. Not the biggest deal, but I still like the color. You guys know how I am about that color way. Got some spikes up top. You do have the belt loop. See, this just looks weird, right? Because it's a belt, right? This should be out here and like it's textured, like the studs are textured and stuff like that. It's not completely just flat printed on there, but this belt wouldn't be like that. It's almost like it was printed onto the thing instead of actually, you know, like if this was cloth and nice, it'd have an actual buckle and stuff like that. Like I get it, it would have added to the price, but man, this would have been perfect for the Supreme line. Maybe that's what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to put Brody Lee in the Supreme line with this jacket in cloth. Maybe that's a thing, but on the back, you have a beautiful graphic here. It says the Exalted one. You got the Dark Order stuff going on. Brody Lee there. I love this jacket. I thought it was a beautiful jacket. That's why I wanted it in cloth form. Goddamn fucking stuck in that pose jacket. Gonna... Didn't get it, but maybe we'll get it in the Supreme line one day with Brody Lee in a beautiful attire. I could see that happening. I could absolutely see that being a thing, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, man. But you do get the rubber jacket, of course. You do get your Join Dark Order hands or your Dark Order hands or handshake hands. Or you, get a, you get quite a bit of things you can do with these hands there. Of course, these are for the Brody Lee figure. You also get mic holding slash grabby hands for interchangeability. You get the tiniest interchangeable hand of all time. Look at that, dude. That's on my middle finger right there, just grasping it. This is Negative One's only interchangeable hand for his right hand. It is the Dark Order hand, which is really, really cool. This thing is tiny, man. You do not want to lose this. It is microscopic. It's like a Marvel Universe figure or, a, you know, just one of those quarter, three-quarter scale sort of hands. Like, that's what his size practically is there to get the scale right, but this is a tiny hand, man. You want to be careful not to lose that. And then we have the beautiful TNT Championship that we've seen quite a few times now, but it is beautiful. You get the gold going on. It is the red strap version, so there is that. But you get, you know, we've seen this quite a few times before, but it's still a beautiful title, and it's a great thing to include with the two-pack, give you a little bit more stuff for your for your pay there, but that pretty much wraps up the accessories with this two-pack. So getting into Brody Lee, man, again, this is a straight-up copy of the Unmatched Series 3, so I'm not going to spend a whole ton of time on it, but I do love this figure. It's one of my favorite AEW figures that they've made thus far. It's very much perfect from head to toe, just about. It feels quality in the hand. I love the head sculpt going on. I love the beard. I, I think it's a fantastic head sculpt. It may be the best head sculpt of Luke Harper, Brody Lee, John Huber of all time, so it, it's a very nice one. Same torso and attire as before. Black wrist tape. You do get the Dark Order gear. Here. It's the black, white, and gray. You got Brody Lee going down the leg. On the other side, you do have, you know, all the numbers going down for Dark Order. You get the black boots. I mean, again, man, it's not like anything game-changing from his last figure. It is the exact same figure, except uh, replicated, practically. It's a re-release. If you can't get your hands on that, I don't see how you get your hands on this two-pack, to be honest with you. I found, I think, two Brody Lees at retail so far. I've seen a ton of people get the Chase figure. I think he is a figure you can track down, which is great, because I know a lot of people are going to want him in the collection but this is not a whole lot different from that figure actually it's not any different at all and I can prove it because I have the unmatched series three right here and I have three of this figure and now I have four because it's the exact same so I, I like you there you're not gonna see any differences here I, I I thought for a moment that the pants were like a hair darker or lighter but I'm pretty sure they they're the exact same upon further investigation but I'm just happy to have another Brody Lee and it's very cool to you know get a, get another Brody Lee again and any slight change would have been cool for sure. Uh, you know, just, just anything that could, they could have changed, but they didn't. It's all good. I understand it, but uh, that cloth jacket would have been nice. Fucking jacket. Gonna... All right, man, time for the part of the video that I think the people are the most excited about. How's the figure feel in hand? Is this figure as good as a regular sized, unrivaled, unmatched figure, man? So let's get into it. Starting out at the top of the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt's solid enough. You know, I don't think it's like, you know, just immaculate or anything like that, but it is just a masked head sculpt of negative one. I think they did a really good job on it. I like the negative one in there. I like all the stitching you got. You got the negative one on the back there. You got some hair poking through, which is a nice detail. Some nice stitches on there. You know, it's a very small head sculpt, so getting any details. And then on top of that, he's wearing a mask. So I think they did a really excellent job. I think they did just, just good enough there. I think it's definitely good enough. I don't think that they needed to go over the top with it. I think it's beautiful. You do have the torso going down right here. He is a little kid. You know, he's not supposed to look like Seth Rollins out here. You know, he's not, he's not Kenny Omega. He's not crazy over the top here, but you do have the negative one paint there. Double jointed arms. You do have the shoulders here. I think they did a fantastic job on this, man. You got like your white jogger style pants. You got the belt on there. Some nice details of silver put in there. I love the color of the pants. They're like a creamish, whitish gray kind of. They, they look really good. I think they did a good job on that. You do have your negative one knee pads, which are really cool. And they don't really hinder articulation, man. We're gonna do an articulation segment, but I love the way the, the knee pads look. And then you do have that same color on the boots there. With the black laces. This is an awesome figure, man, and it's 
very small. We are going to get into some comparisons, of course, so you guys understand the gravity of it, but I do want to get into the articulation before we get into our comparisons. For the figure's articulation, man, he can look down pretty daggum good. He can't look up the best because of, you know, the, the mass sculpt, right? But he can look down very, very well. He does have a pretty good ab crunch. It's not like a typical unrivaled figure. Like, the, the lower torso here is not like a typical unrivaled figure. It's a little bit harder of a plastic, so you're not going to get quite the bend that you would on a regular unrivaled figure or a Kenny Omega, a Young Buck, a Cody, you know, something like that. However, it's still a pretty good articulation there. I'd say be careful when you're, you know, when you're putting the arms up like this. It goes up pretty far, but when you're doing that, I would grasp the shoulder pretty good to push that up because if you just go in there flimsy dimsy, these arms are very, very skinny, man. So if you, if you were to just push it up really hard, I feel like you could do some damage to the figure and you definitely don't want to do that, but you do, see, I almost forgot just then, but you do have a nice double jointed elbow. It's, it's beautiful there. You do get your bicep swivel in there. You get your hinge and your rotation here. We already went over the ab crunch a little bit, but you do get your diaphragm pivoting there. He is on ball joints, but it's not a very good split, I guess, just because of the size of the crotch piece, but you do get that far there. He can kick forward a little bit, back a little bit. You do get the great upper thigh cut. You do get a nice double jointed knee that is a little bit hindered by the knee pad, but it's not terrible. You do get boot swivel, and you also get ankle pivots. So this figure's got all the articulation I think you could possibly want. You know, I think it's awesome. I think if you want to pick fed with this thing, that'll be really fun. But this this figure's a ton of fun, man. Just be careful posing it around just because of how small it is and how skinny the figure is. You do want to be careful with that. Now, you guys will see this figure literally stands under five inches tall. So it's about four and a half inches tall, maybe. So it is very small compared to a regular WWE Elite or an AEW Unrivaled figure. Just for some size comparison, here are the two figures side by side. And you guys can just see how big of a difference. Like, negative one literally comes up to his waistline. The top of his head is, like, right up at, at his waistline. So that just shows you the difference in the heights of these figures. And then for another comparison, here he is up next to Rey Mysterio, which is probably the smallest, you know, WWE men's figure you're going to find. He comes up to right at the chesticles of Rey Mysterio. And then here's kind of your AT&T raising the bar style scenario where you have, you know, Brody Lee to Rey Mysterio to negative one. And then here's negative one up next to the rest of the Dark Order that we have right here. Up next to pretty much the entire AEW Unmatched Series number three cast. John Silver, Evil Uno, Brody Lee, Stu Grayson, and Anna Jay. Very cool to see all these up next to each other. I can't wait to see the display options from everybody in their collections, man. It's going to be really awesome. So that will be a really cool thing to see. But that pretty much wraps up our AEW figure comparisons for negative one and Brody Lee. And I think that pretty much wraps up this ringside exclusive AEW Unmatched two pack of Brody Lee and negative one, man. I had a ton of fun with the review you again man thank you guys so very much for checking it out again do not miss out on this opportunity it's on back order right now use code md toys and go pre-order this thing because if you miss out on the first few shipments man once it's gone the aftermarket price i can tell you right now in like five or six years i feel like this pack is going to be one of those packs that that goes up you know it's just going to go up over time especially mint on card in the box this is one of those wrestling figure gems that i don't think anybody should miss out on when you have that opportunity man it's just an extra 50 60 bucks whatever it is is use code MD Toys, save you a little money there, and you know, just just have this thing, man. It's a beautiful package, it's a great commemoration, and I love it. I think it's fantastic. Not a lot going on with the Brody Lee, to be honest with you. I would have loved to have seen a different variation of him, maybe in the suit, or maybe you know, something like that. But to have another opportunity to get Brody Lee in the collection, to have a one-of-a-kind figure of his son like this, is just so cool, man. It's so cool, and it cannot be replicated. And this is just a beautiful tribute, man. So definitely go do that, man. It is beautiful. Another rest in peace to the legend. But that is gonna wrap up the review man thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below i say it's worth a grab on just historic value and just how awesome it is as a one-of-a-kind item it's like the it's the first wrestling action figure of a kid ever i think it's like something that you want to have in your collection man i think it allows for a lot of creative opportunities so definitely man cash in on it if you're on the fence just do it but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys next time and don't cross a line like the people that are skipping over this two-pack. You cross the line.